In this time of the year, I often looking forward to the spring, and it's joyful that spring is here very soon. Soon we will see the end of this long, dark winter, and transition into more light and colors. So this painting is a reflection of my peace and harmony with spring. I started sketching with acrylic paint and played around with shapes for a female tree creature. Then I continued with oils and a quick drying medium for oil that improves blow and transparency. It's also very good for detail work. I have a concept idea in mind, but I'm mostly improvising through the process. It's very relaxing to paint this way. I do not plan ahead, I just paint and go with the flow. The downside of this strategy is that things could look weird and when I come back to the painting next time, I want to change things I'm not satisfied with which takes me longer to finish. I wanted to challenge myself this time to not spend too long with a painting. My last paintings have taken me a long time to paint and this time my goal was to finish this within a month. In my imagination, trees are like protective and nurturing spirits in the forest communicating with each other and coexist with each other and in their surroundings. They are almost like kings and queens with their crown, confident and steady where they stand. The oldest, wise and robust ones are, aren't easy to take down. Perhaps Tolkien's imagination of trees was similar when he created the ends in his story of the Lord of the Rings. I don't know, but I haven't found his three creatures in Norse mythology, so he might have come up with his fantasy creature himself. Or got inspired by Greek mythology. I recently heard about Dryads, which is a nature spirit who lives in trees and takes the form of a beautiful young woman and she cares about the forest and acts like a guardian for the trees. Uh, I actually didn't know about Dryads until someone told me. It's interesting how we experience nature in a similar way.
I'm done with another painting and I'm going to name it Spring at Last. Um.